Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? That is not important right now. You have to help me find my daughter. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does 350 cap sound? I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. No, it's nothing. I don't want to distract you, Detective. Nothing else right now. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Project log, radio. Correction, working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be, let's go with, Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project Emily, log, please. dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm 
in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a oh, spark of right. electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. What is it? I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. Are you all right? I just don't know. Becoming a synth is so much harder than I ever imagined. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. You make it look so effortless. Like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world? Not so sure, but you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are... my friend. You're my friend too, Kiri. This tells something in me. I have no idea why. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. I have so much data on the world before the atom bombs. I fear I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You... you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I, I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. <sighs> okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. <sighs> I love you too, Dad. Um, hello? Testing? <clears throat> Project log. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I... Guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Was I recording that? Ugh.
very good with a bobby pin. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father, and it's built for distance. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Doc Carrington's been asking for you. Hey there. You're a fixer, right? I've been looking for you. Name's Boxer. Boss called me in on account of some rumors making their way through the Commonwealth. There's word that there's some kind of colony of synths way up the coast, all on their own. You heard anything like that? I'm following a lead on a place called Far Harbor. Never heard of it. Doesn't mean it's not connected, though. If you're already looking into it, don't let me stop you. Just let me know if you find anything, okay?
Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Careful on the Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! What the hell? Eyes peeled, everyone! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! Mariner? There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Ready Fire at will! Who? We've got trouble. Main? This time. No. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damned hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough! That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. 
We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. likes you. You're Everyone. Kidding. Everyone. We're trying to have a conversation here. Perfect. So, how's he spending your day? Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Here's some mitts. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially. There wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers? They're a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than Meyer lurks out there. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me, then. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take your order. Oh. Acadia is above the fog line in the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. I'm gonna take this for the road. Tastes foul as sin, but it'll help. Mainlanders don't need last to move long through the island. Back. Old mountain trail is what we're at. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. Is there some 
Passing nearby. Identity unknown. scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now... There's... Found you! Let's count the ammo and see what's left. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised that we got local wildlife to deal with. <laughs> we grow everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. That crawler, they usually stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear, but you never know. your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. We ain't alone here. You're dead! Fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them.
hold there. Stringing one more soul to their damnation, old man? Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead, seek the only true master of this land. You do know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. There's no name. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but 
I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. I'm not a synth. End of discussion. I understand. I won't pry any further. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Kasumi is usually working down below whenever you wish to see her. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before you go? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? You should know the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I'm part of a group that helps since The Railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is. The risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. And it's unfair of me to judge. While I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything else I can do for you? So, everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there.
hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Atom Lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Kasumi so Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Relax. All will be fine. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're a what? You came all this way... For me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know? But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time? Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure, good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Circuitry is completely fried. Got it.
We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Excuse me. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I wanted to see for myself that she's safe. You have my word. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. 
He convinced me of the truth, and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping Synths find freedom. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Excuse me. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're right. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? The island is dangerous after all, but I really could use the spare parts. So, will you find them? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Dima. Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the Children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the Children of Adam, or my memories? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. 
Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base. In the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the Children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the Children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Captain Avery, there are no police in Can I interest you in anything stranger? Uh, night's the worst. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. I'm working with Chase. 
She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. But keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure he took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth. Especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Avery. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. What exactly do you need help with? We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. Am I going to need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're going to have to find him first. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. operations looks like Howard didn't make it I'll have to repair the fog condensers myself to file a police report, yes and all the little things go in baggies for evidence
fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. Yeah. We found him. One of the fox creatures already attacked him. He was bleeding out, but... You know, why waste the meat? Here. Well, what's left? Take it. <laughs> now go. Don't come back. Your pulse and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. I hope Howard's okay. Every day another harbor man leaves. Those fog fire. condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? He died trying to get those condensers fixed. The man is a hero. Yes. Yes, he is. I'll make sure we remember him as such. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Captain, nobody's gonna want to help you out. Unless you're prepared to pay a fair wage. Well, I can't argue with that. I suppose I could spare a little more. I can give you 250 caps. Thanks. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Bring it on, Island. I can take it. the key. Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. It's my fault. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And... shall we say 200 caps? Given the risks I took to find your synth, I think I deserve more than that. I suppose that's a fair request. 250 caps, then. I've seen the resources you have here. I know you can do better than that. Fine. 300 caps. I'd advise you not to push your luck any further. I'm sorry things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. Hey there. Yes? I've got those storage drives you asked for. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, just the two? Really? I somehow thought there were three. I did notice a locked chest that I couldn't open. Maybe the last one was in there. Do you have the key? Key? Chest? I'm afraid I don't know. I, uh... You know what? This is fine. Just these two is fine. Well, you did your part, so I'll do mine. Thank you for recovering these. Mariner. The hull took a battering, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. 
I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Still I've been casing holes for weeks, waiting for an opening. I'm gonna die, dude, and chop and chop, bang, bang, that and a whole lot of them. Engaging in close <clears throat> Hold up! I've been casing those ghouls for weeks, waiting for an opening. Then you dive in and chop and chop, bang, bang, and a whole lot of them. Yeah. You even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. What's the big deal about these tools? Palmans pumps out more foot-pounds of torque than a death claw on Psycho. And before Polly ran off, he kept those tools shiny. Nothing like them on this island. 
Period. I remember commercials for Pelman's tools. Expensive stuff, the top of the line. What the hell's a commercial? Wait, it don't matter. Oh, Marina sent you, didn't she? Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders would give an arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here, right now. Deal? Why do you need the tools so much? I got my own special projects. For the caps I'm paying, that's all you need to know. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk away from this, and you'll regret it. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck, running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. You are a curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I got to ask, why do you keep at it? You're good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve you. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way, a downright insane way, mind you, that you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. Why are some harbormen so hostile to outsiders? Most of the folk on this rock believe they've been given the God-given right to walk here. The way I figure it, if you got the moxie to survive, you earned your place. I'd love to change their opinion of me. Do it right, and all mainlanders might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this? Well, you won't be made captain, but... You'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to become a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old mire lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway. A treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. You talk to Cassie Dalton? Shame what happened to her family. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor, someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, 
The last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Those feral ghouls come at you quick. Poor Petey learned that the hard way. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant! Ha <laughs> ha! I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I think I deserve more than that. I suppose I could part with a little more. Here's another hundred caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil ya. You. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. I'm sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life. Working the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster. Mean as spit and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground, a shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit!
Need general supplies? Visit the bait shop. You give that fog crawler what for? Courtesy of the Daltons. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Surely a heroic Avenger deserves more than 200 caps. I can agree to that. Here's another 100 caps. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me. I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brook's Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. How do I get to the Brookshead Lighthouse? It's southwest of town. Not far from the quarry. I'll make that trapper pay. All right, then. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Run! Run, my 
while you can. Children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you. An outsider. A mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting.
you doing with something? I believe that they are moving. Yahoo? We must defeat this. Mayala! The enemy has been spotted. Engaging secondary defenses. I will feel well, monsieur. These knuckleheads don't trust you now. Well, fuck them, right? I expect folk will be more talkative now. Might even have some more work for you. Maybe hit up Mitch at the last plane. Seriously. Thanks, Teddy. You are the most peculiar main... person I've ever had the occasion to meet. Take this. And, if you're inclined, socialize. It's your party after all. Everyone, times are hard, but this here feast is proof that we can turn things around. Now I know mainlanders have been responsible for all manner of harm, but this one Great job, is Scott. special. This one did the captain's dance. It's true. I saw it. So in my book, he's not a mainlander anymore. He's one of us. Yeah! Mainlander. Ha <laughs> ha. I saw the whole thing. The queen. What happened to her family? Hey, pal. Mister, I have to talk to you. I got 14 and a half caps. I want to hire you. I'll bite. What's the job? Harbormen don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbormen can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. You know, you're quite a remarkable girl. If you say so. I just don't want this pier to kill what's left of my kin. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And oh, you big. Please, help. I'm scraping by. <laughs> the children of Adam are dangerous. I don't trust them. But I fished myself up an honest to God the sea bass. I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's your pay. People keep leaving the island. But now that there's land, land to call their own, they'll come back. My friends have already sent word. We're going to turn back the tide. You'll see. Captain Avery's all right. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. Food. The fog's Stimpacks. poison. Fully Killing stopped. Children of Adam. Bertha. Excuse me, ma'am? Smalls, we got no time for you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We gotta get off the docks, Captain. 
If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. Surviving is about more than taming fog. We've got to stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land, something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, and materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive, even. I can lend a hand, too. You would? Well, then their odds are sure to be better. Give them the fall condensers, Avery. Well, I, I won't stop you, but until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Those tools you found are a joy to work with. It gave me this idea. A cargo freighter founded ages ago, to the south. With a bit of arc welding and some elbow grease, the hull could be reinforced to be sturdy. Fierce. Best to do it soon, before... Well, soon. One cargo freighter coming up. I'd say be careful. But after that captain's dance, how about have fun? The ship's the MS Azalea. Expect trappers, mean ones. Once you mop the decks with them, I'll send my crew over. Best of luck. The MS Azalea is good to go. I'll send the work crew over. And once we haul a piece of the ship here, the hull will be a sight to see. Everyone, make way! Did you really kill the Queen? The Mariner said you did. Don't pester him, Debbie. Of course he did. Now this is what a badass looks like. I fear we had you all wrong. Well, Captain Avery didn't. Right. Holier than thou Avery got the right of it. And thanks for reminding me. Here's a round on the house. That's awfully friendly of you. We have mainlanders coming in and out all the time. Worst of a lot are thieves or murderers. And the others we find floating face down in the harbor. But not you. Mitch, I mean, since he did the captain's dance, maybe your uncle? That's my own family business. Sir, Mitch is too damn proud. But we're worried about Uncle Ken. If my family was in trouble, I'd do anything to help them. You hear that, Mitch? Even someone like him would ask for help. 
Uncle Ken's the last one still living on the island. The last holdout. Crazier than a bag full of starved mole rats, he is. Mitch sent him some of the fog condensers? So he might still be alive. He's safe from the fog. But the campground's got to be swarming with God knows what. Listen, it shames me to ask it. Oh, but he is my kin. Could you check up on him? And find some way to drag his hide back here. I'll pay, of course. I'll look for your uncle. His homestead's the old visitor center, inland. And look out, he loves his traps. You help Cassie, right? The children of Adam are trying to kill us all. Mariner. Drive us Mainland. Into the ocean. I got one last idea. Crazier than a box of rat roaches. But that hasn't stopped you before. Hull's got plenty of stopping power now. But if a Meyer Lurk Queen went for a frontal assault... Has a queen ever attacked here? Well, not yet. But I'm telling you, the island's bubbling over with menace. Only a matter of time, I reckon. I'd like to help if I can. I had a feeling I could count on you. Thicker walls can beat the whole mass velocity force issue. But the bigger problem is acid. Only thing I've ever seen survive a queen's acid are other Mirelurks. The Mirelurks on our islands have carapaces that are extra tough. So you gather up a bunch of the carapaces and lug them back here. Then I'll reinforce the town as best as I'm able. Far Harbor really owes you for all this. Yes and no. It's my dock people are squatting on, so I got a personal stake in it. Good luck. Go away! You see? You see those corpses? They're from me! Unless you're ready for the long walk, go away! Your nephew's worried about you. He sent me. Mitch? My boy Mitch sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. Made it safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming! They're coming! Then, let's work together. Ah, fine. I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. Thank you. 
physical injury could result in something I suppose. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. This is my home. And what? You want me to huddle like a beggar in Far Harbor? I... I can't just leave. How about this? I'm not asking you, old man. I'm dragging you back. Oh, fine. Threaten an old man. Big shot. I'll go back. You have my word. My boy! He actually did it. Did what? Chase me from my home? We should dump him in the harbor. You're really not grateful? You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. He never visits or writes. Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. I, uh... You're kind of a big deal. Wow. Anything to do with fish. That's your job, okay? Rowan, you're on building and repairs. Like some of the baseboards can get loose or torn up. I'm not sure what's getting but fix it. Braun, you've got brush removal again. Got to clear our line of sight. And yes, you may have to work at night, you big baby. I don't care what you need. I pulled day guard duty again. We'll swap around that night, same as last month. Even you, Braun, don't even start whining. That's it. If you don't like it, it's tough. This is how we get things done around here. Wait. 
see anyone coming for miles. Oh, I don't want a goddamn fish one. Oh, I just hope. Oh, God, no. Oh, it found me. No, no. No, you get there. Get away from me. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. I got your Meyerler carapaces. Finally, it's done. Everything that can be welded, duct tape, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Feels like I can finally sit a spell and relax. <sighs> Take this. It's well earned. Enjoy the break, Mariner. I wonder how long before some sad sap gets a splinter in their wee toe and it's up to me to fix it. Take care, Mainlander. The fog's poison, on account of the children of Adam. It's hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we, we've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it's all because of you. I just wanted to help my friends. We don't deserve you. Sincerely. My people are so mired with their own concerns, I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you... It, it just isn't enough. But take this, and thank you. Richter, please, you can't do this. We've it's been loyal. grand zealot to you, and your dedication has come into doubt. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other will return to Adam. Richter, this is insane. You can't expect us to... Will there be anything else? That'll be all, sister. Thank you, Grand Zealot. Pardon me. You. What are you doing here? Did Far Harbor send you? It's okay. I'm not from Far Harbor. I'm from the Commonwealth. Hmm. Quite the journey. So, explain to me what you're doing here. You come seeking a place among Adam's children? What was happening with those two children of Adam you were, uh, interrogating? An issue of loyalty. Not something you need to concern yourself with. Now, unless you've come to join Adam's faithful, I suggest you go on your way. I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. Decisions of who may enter our family, we leave to Adam. You'll have to perform a ritual. Prove yourself worthy in his eyes. By doing what, exactly? There is a small spring not far from here. Those chosen by Adam drink and are granted something. A token. An experience. Those not chosen... rarely return. All right. I'll do what Adam requires. Then let us hope he deems you fit. Go to the spring. Drink. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful.
This can't be real. Needs a password. Must be some clue around here. M O T H E R. Mother? Could that be the password? Did Adam reveal something to you? I drank from the spring, and a woman led me to this icon. Does this mean something? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was... <laughs> otherworldly. The woman, she was like a living shadow, cloaked in mist. Adam above. You really did see her. The Mother of the Fog. The Mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. I am ready to follow his path. Then it will be so. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. Have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this. We are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother. Believe the confessor is wrapping up his sermon. You should head inside. We are doomed, brothers and sisters. <laughs> and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself. Given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Atom's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff at us behind their condensers. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. 
After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam! This is a balance. Guide my shots, True. Caution, brother. Last child who tried to claim the secrets within, rouse the guardians of the base. So unless you've been tasked by the High Confessor, I'd steer clear of the command center. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning sir-style target detected. Engaging evasive maneuver. Area secure. Compromised. Engage. <laughs> Threat lost. Entering enhanced detection mode. Engaging secondary defense. <laughs> logs for relevant data.
Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. I may have detected. This is for you. Running a little bit of subroutines. This is so violent. Make sure the indexers have a safe path back to the access point. You just need to make sure your indexers get back safely to the access point with the data. Make sure the indexers have a safe path back to the access point. System alert. Data missing from long-term storage. System alert. Another data block retrieved. Good. Intercept rumor detected. Another data block retrieved. One more to go. Beginning attrition of intrusive program. Verifying memory file. 100%. Memory file identification. DLC-98X0. Number to all your transmissions. Beginning playback. Things are not going well with Farhanger. Several of my people have been assaulted. It's bad at. Interrogated for no reason. This is getting out of control. But there's still a chance they can learn to trust us. We just need one of their own who's on our side. I can't let anyone know what I'm about to do. I'll need to set up the equipment far away from Acadia. Move the most place to bury the evidence. Additional location data appended. A makeshift medical facility underneath the VIM. Pop factory. Coordinates downloaded. Intrusion detected. Countermeasures initiated. Sentry beginning erasure protocol against unauthorized indexer. Better to just forget. I found it. The location of the launch key and fire the impulse inside the submarine. Professor Martin believes it can bring his people into division. Destruction in the hands of an atomic blast. He struggles with how literal his interpretation of that precept should be. We can't risk him deciding to find the key and use it. His people were the first to accept me for what I am. A lot of them be 
being gone fills me with nothing but pain. Additional data appended. Location. The Harbor Grand Hotel Safe Room. Key code 485130. Beginning of protocol against unauthorized index, sir.
Security alert. Intrusion detected in long-term storage. Intrusive index are detected. You can use the data stream to access the next memory, as usual. Memory file identification, file identification. Zero, Z, dash, seven, A, or K. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Get away from me! What the hell are you? It's me. We escaped the Institute together. From my brother. I don't have a brother! The name's Nick Valentine. No one in my family tree is a plastic skin freak! You're just confused. Let me help. Stay away from me! I don't want to hurt you!
Adventures Program. First data block recovered. Good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Complete memory retrieved. You can exit the simulation at any time. Memory file identification 0Y-8K7D. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I've discovered a curious record inside the pre-war data files on this submarine base. The Marines here were equipped with the best model of combat armor. There are several suits already in the base, in various states of deterioration. But there were more shipments of the armor on its way to the base, the day the bombs fell. They could be in prime condition, if the sealants have held. I have no use for them, but you never know. Maybe they'll be worth digging up one day. Additional data appended. Armor shipments tracking information. Coordinates downloaded. Exiting simulation in three, two, one. Armor on its way to the base, the day the bombs fell. They could be in prime condition, if the sealants have held. I have no use for them, but you never know. Maybe they'll be worth digging up one day. Additional data appended. Armor shipments tracking information. Coordinates downloaded. are a marvelous invention, don't you think? Such a funny world. Going up. Ground floor. having everything you are ripped out and replaced with something else. Someone else. I'm ready. I just I wish I could say goodbye to everyone. No one else can know. This isn't just about infiltrating Far Harbor. It's about becoming the human that synths drawn here need to meet. Reasonable. Signs of life Willing protected. to accept them Scanning. as just another living thing. If you need assistance, please approach the intercom. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a synth. 
did she have to die? The, the woman I'm replacing. God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours. Scanning. User isn't approved to enter the medical containment area. Can't say I mind the company, though. It's been a while. I don't think any approved user is going to show up. You can either let me in, or you can keep waiting for eternity. Your choice. Hmm. You actually make a really good point. Very well. There you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, my power capacity is a bit low, so I'm going to go into reserves. Best of luck to you. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the Nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a simp's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. An example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Okay. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. I'm... starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the... 
guilt will keep me focused. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the Children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. If it means peace for the island, all right. Tell me the plan. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. Do we have to kill the High Confessor? It would be the most reliable way of dealing with him. But any method that removes Tectus from power indefinitely should work. Are the children gonna stand down just because this replacement tells them to? Dissent may arise, but the children have seen what happens to those who speak out. Our replacement will leverage that fear to serve the greater good. Okay, I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find. I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well for what you've done for us. for coming so quickly. I heard about the execution. I can't believe they killed your missionary, Martin. I'm sorry. Brother Andrews, a good soul. The fault is mine. If I'd realized things had become so tense in Far Harbor, I would have never let him leave. They blame us for the fog overrunning the town, Dima. And now, the children... It's Tectus. He won't listen. He wants to prepare for war. Do you believe the others will follow him? Time was. I would have laughed at such a notion, but now... Andrews was beloved by many. It's brought out the worst in them. Fury. Hate. It was tolerable when it was just Tectus. Dima, something must be done. Exile? Exodus. 
I think it's time you and I convinced the citizens of Far Harbor to leave. You can't be serious. You know as well as I, they're not meant for this place. The fog grows thicker every year. How long before the condensers are finally overwhelmed? It's not banishment, Dima. It's mercy. I'm sorry, Martin, but no. They have as much right to be here as you do. Right? This place is trying to kill them. And now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay. And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should go. Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. I have to say, I'm surprised. I had assumed you and your followers would be more adamantly hunting for the sub's launch key. I hope we haven't disappointed you too greatly. I'd uh, hate to anger our landlord. I believe I'll survive. But am I mistaken? Does your god not require you die in a nuclear blast? Is that not why you've taken up in the nucleus? It's not a transaction, Dima. Adam requires nothing of us. He has granted us a chance to become something greater. To divide our weak mortal frames and bring life to millions of new worlds. We are simply accepting the opportunity his glow presents, whatever form it may take. So if you found the launch key, you wouldn't use it? That I don't know. Are you afraid? I'd be mad to say I wasn't, but we've made a home for ourselves here. Friends, a family. A place you belong. Exactly. The nucleus. It is a blessing of the truest order. It would be hard to leave such a gift, even if it is for another. But regardless, the key is lost. So, until Adam sees fit to return it, I dare say you're stuck with us. I believe I'll survive. Dima, I recovered the tapes from Martin's hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice again. Oh. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But Tectus is nothing if not wary. Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this all plays out more... smoothly. You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, Return here, and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Then I won't keep you any longer. Here, the tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. The world will be shown Adam's glory. 
Finally ready to fulfill your responsibility to Adam? Still have a job in you. Adam will lead us all to glorious division. Hey there. Ah, I'd heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome, brother. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? It's an honor, I confess, sir. I'm glad you feel as such. There are many who would squander Adam's grace. Let me ask you a question. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? I'd reach out to them. Try to make peace. Do you not believe we have tried? For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home. They will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the Mother? So the whispers were true. You saw the Mother of the Fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? I recovered a holotape. Confessor Martin is planning to come back and take over. We should come up with a plan, but, but not here. The command center tunnels should be far enough away from the rest of the children. Martin, it can't. Play it. I want to hear that coward's voice. Believe it. He's alive. None of the other children can know about this. The command center, you said. I'll ensure we aren't disturbed. Don't mind, my friends. 
These children have proven they can be trusted. Unlike some. You walk into my chambers, carrying that treasonous filth, and expect me to believe you simply happened upon it? If you value your life, you will tell me everything you know about Martin's whereabouts. Why are you so afraid of Martin? Afraid? Afraid? It is Martin who is the coward. Too weak to stand up to Far Harbor, to fight for our home. And now he plans to waltz back into the family he abandoned? Well, unlike Martin, I am willing to fight for what's mine. Now, tell me where he is. Dima sends his regards. Dima! You traitorous! No mercy! Ah. We'll avenge our fall. I wish the Ferriker was a whole lot less of that. It sounds like quite the experience, but I'm glad to know there will be peace on the island again. Atom's vision was clear on the matter. I... I must thank you again for sheltering me while under its sway. Think nothing of it. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. You are too kind, Dima. I should only need just a little more fresh air. Hey, Dima. I suppose you've heard the news? The High Confessors had a vision. Atom demands peace. Can I assume you're here to tell me your task is done? It is. Does this mean the island's finally safe? I believe it does. Peace can finally come to the island. It's a heavy burden what we've done, but now the Nucleus, Far Harbor, and Acadia will all flourish, together. And you really believe you can trust the High Confessor? I do. I've done this before, remember? <laughs> I have given him all of the best traits of Tactus, and also of Martin. Memories of his gentle voice will guide the new High Confessor. It was the right thing to do. It was... necessary. Hope for a better future. That will be the judge of our actions. I'll handle things from here. I'll arrange talks between the Children of Adam and Far Harbor. They will learn to prosper together. Under our guidance, the children will revel in their irradiated bastion. The harbor men will continue to survive and reclaim what the fog has taken from them. And my people will remain safe. Here, for all you've done, you should also pay a visit to the Nucleus. I believe the High Confessor will want a word with you. And of course, you are welcome in Acadia whenever you like. After all, where would we be without you?
Did you need something? So, it sounds like there's going to be peace on the island. It was you, wasn't it? You found a way to fix things. It was the right thing to do. I can't believe people like you actually exist. Part of the reason I didn't trust Dima was because he seemed too selfless. But you're just like him. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me. To bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Rei by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was all right, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. You're right, Kasumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For... everything. Maybe I'll... see you back in the Commonwealth? I'm home! Kasumi? Oh my god! My baby is okay! Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Happy to do it, Kenji. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. I'll never forget this. Kasumi, does this mean... You know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry, I was just... So confused. I wanted to go... Somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that.
You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. She's back home, safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. 